Hey there guys, Setokaza here and welcome back for another Albion Online video. For today, we're gonna be using a Claymore, but this one is different from the one that I've already shown you. Here is 5 sets of a Boozer Claymore build that has an estimated market value of 1.86 million, while for a single set, this would cost you for around 314,000 silver. Now that's a bit expensive. Going over to our abilities, in PvE, I'm gonna be using the first Q, but you can still use the second Q. Splitting Slash for W, with Deep Cuts for the passive. In PvP, you can still use Splitting Slash for catching enemies. Parry Strike is best used against huge abilities like Cursed E or Crossbow E. Anything that we can reflect back easily. As a standard option, Iron Will would be your best friend. Cultist Skull for the Inner Corruption, Merc Jacket for Sustain, and a Plate Boots with Rejuvenating Sprint. Tedford Cape, Pyramid Snapper for our food with Healing Potions. Now let me show you why it's worth the price. Let's go! Here we go! Nice.
That's a lot of damage. Thank <laughs> you. 
Collision. Nope. Gotcha, bitch! At that last fight, I kinda messed up and let's just say the better player wins. So let's see how much loot we got. Here in my first tab, I have 4.23 million worth of loot, 1.89 million in my second tab, and another 595,000 in my third tab. Let's not forget the silver bags worth 1.16 million. Do the math and we earned a profit of 6 million. As you can see the build is very strong in brawled out fights and since it is a sword, kiting builds also stand no chance against this one. We even killed a meta one hand spear. If I were to climb the rankings in corrupted dungeons, this build would definitely be in my options. Here are a couple of tips. When doing PvE, I like to leave mobs like this crossbow guy and the arsonist dude. Um, these mobs are best for stacking your Qs since they deal little to no damage and they kind of make a pathway for chasing enemies while keeping your stacks up. Mercenary jacket, 
lasts only for a short while so try to use it when you have max stacks on your cubes. So I think that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this one or fancy the build, make sure to hit that like button and smash that bell icon so you don't miss my videos whenever I do upload. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a comment on what you think about this one. I read every single one of your comments so stand by for your builds. They're coming so don't worry. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Satokase, logging out.